Good morning, everyone. My name is Lauren Kalina, and today I'll be talking about a part of my life that is significant, not only because of how it changed the way I view the world today, but also because of how long it was a part of me. I'm 17 years old right now, and this whole event took up a good seven of those years. And I'm not sure who's a big movie fan, but in 2019, Netflix released a teenage film by the name Tall Girl, in which the main character has famously stated, You think your life is hard? I'm a high school junior wearing size 13 Nikes. Well, I'd like to see her try and start middle school without having any eyebrows or eyelashes. Now we all know those three awkward middle school years. The puberty, the smells, the sweat. Adding the lack of eyebrows to all that is practically a homemade recipe for disaster. Despite this rough time in my life though, I believe that it was this experience that first exposed me to the concept of open-mindedness and the importance of social acceptance. From first experiencing insecurity to gaining a sense of confidence and self-worth. The whole journey that I had taught me not only how to love myself, but also how to be a better person. How it all began in middle school, a time when one's popularity is the most important. And though we don't want to admit it, appearances meant everything during those times. Even wearing the wrong shoes would garner social suicide. Now, I wasn't very lucky. I was started junior high at a private school, meaning we all wore the same uniforms. You can't make a fun of someone's clothes if you're all wearing the same thing. So of course, the only thing left to comment on was facial appearances. And unfortunately, mine weren't the best. Now I've always been a free spirit and all around happy kid, but moving to a new school built up enough stress in me that it resulted to hair loss. So not only was I the new girl, but I was also the girl with no hair. For the first time in my life, I felt so insecure of how I looked and always felt ashamed whenever I went out in public. I'll spare the specifics, but certain classmates weren't too friendly about it either. Funny enough though, it was this unfair treatment that made me feel empty towards the victims of bullying that we see in campaign videos and truly understand how wrong it is to discourage someone based on their appearances and their differences. Something I believe I'd come to believe that no one deserves. Fast forward to high school, moved to a public school, still lacking eyebrows, but this time was different. No one commented on my appearance. In fact, I made friends who would always tell me constantly that I was beautiful. So I always assumed that they just didn't look hard enough. It wasn't until later that I learned that everyone was fully aware of my eyebrows or lack thereof, but it was their choice not to say anything because the school strongly valued respect towards all. Teachers and fellow students understood that I had my own problems to deal with, but that didn't change the fact that I was a good person to them. I felt so lucky to have found a school that taught their students about social acceptance and the general respect towards all people of different backgrounds. After that, I never bothered, I was never bothered by what people thought of me. Instead, I became a girl built on strong determination and action to express who I am rather than allow one characteristic to define me. Now, but before I conclude, let me summarize. That was the experience of hitting rock bottom on the confidence scale to gaining a personal sense of self-worth that taught me the value of open-mindedness and the importance of social acceptance. While it's cliche, you really should never judge a book by its cover. Sometimes we take for granted the normality we have in our lives, that we don't bother to care for those around us, but everyone should learn to look at the world with an open mind or we'll miss out on meeting the best of people. I think the line that encapsulates this the best is actually a lyric from a cartoon called Steven Universe. You don't have to accept me, I accept me. You don't have to love me, I love me. I just want you to know you could know me if you change your mind.